What's up, everybody? I'm Shane Atwood. I'm out here in the garage today, in the forge, the workshop, and I've got some pretty cool stuff that just showed up in the mail. So I'm gonna get digging into that. Man, the wind is just absolutely howling here today. <clears throat> Hopefully that doesn't create some crazy noises on the video, but if it does, I guess we'll just have to deal with it. So <clears throat> we just got these packages in from <clears throat> Broadbeck Ironworks. <clears throat> um, I'm thinking maybe I'm still missing a package or two, but hopefully they will show up tomorrow. Um, there's the big old Burley Press. There's the forge and a couple of billets I'm working on. But anyway, the uh, purpose of this video is to get into these packages and see what we have in there. So, Okay, so here I've got a few boxes opened up. This is just the Broadback belt package. Some gnarly incinerator belts in there. I'm excited to try those out. Lots of other belts. This box has just tons of parts and pieces and bearings and wheels and rollers and all sorts of cool stuff that I'm not really sure where it all goes, but I guess we'll have to figure that out. It's for the integral platen hardware kit for it. Those things. Woohoo! Sorts of cool stuff. And then check this out. This is what I'm kind of excited about. This is a 12 inch big boy contact wheel. I've got an 8 and a 10. And I'm super excited about a 12, so there's a 12 inch contact wheel. The disc sander, some of the grinder parts. I'm sure this is the grinder chassis and some more grinder parts. So now my plan is to get all of those opened up, laid out here. I'm gonna put some cardboard down on the floor, lay these out, and get all the parts spray painted. Like I said, it's so stinking windy outside, I'd do it outside, but. It'll be covered in dirt and sand and all sorts of gnarly stuff if I try to do it outside. So I'm going to try to do it in the garage, try to crack the door and get some ventilation. And and it does look like I'm missing probably the motor and the VFD and maybe a couple of more parts. But hopefully those will all be here tomorrow. <clears throat> and I can get this thing put together and set up and ready to roll so I will uh, yeah be back in a minute with everything spread out and maybe we'll start spray painting some stuff here is pretty much all of the main frame pieces laid out and I honestly don't know what a lot of this stuff is <laughs> so I'm not real sure which color to paint everything so I kind of want to do the two-tone thing want the main chassis a certain color and then all the rest of it a different color so I'll kind of have to go through and sort all that out but there's all the main pieces looks like we got three tooling arms um, I've got a longer tooling arm that's for the work rest I'm sure there's the work rest um, some more wheels and rollers <clears throat> this should be the super mega package that Broadbeck had on sale a couple weeks back so I should have almost every attachment that they offer except for the surface grinding attachment which i'll probably be picking that up too shortly hopefully <clears throat> three tooling arms there that's the main <clears throat> part of the chassis and just lots of other parts and pieces part of the platen i'm sure this is the flat platen so i probably don't want to paint that i think this goes with the tool rest There's kind of the second coat on those pieces. So this is just a uh, metallic dark metal. So it's really, really close to the original color of the metal, but it has a lot of metallic flake in it. I think it's pretty cool looking stuff. Kind of a darker gray, metallic gray. And then all the accent pieces, attachments and stuff. I'm gonna paint all those a maroon red color. So 
kind of my two favorite color combinations is this darker red and this charcoal gray color. So <clears throat> I think it should turn out pretty sweet looking. <clears throat> Got those painted and this other main piece of the frame over here. It'll probably all be covered in grinder dust in a month or two anyway, so it probably doesn't really matter, but I guess this will keep it from rusting and corroding and getting all nasty, so. So there's that much. I'm gonna figure out what else I need to paint this color and which pieces I need to paint the red, and we'll go from there. So now we've got the main part of the chassis, the metallic gray color, and everything else is kind of darker red color and the stinking leaf just blew in and landed on my platen. Dang it. Yes, the wind is still just a howling. About sick of it. Anyway, I think we're getting everything looking pretty shiny. And hopefully we'll get all this stuff dried and then flipped over and need to still get the other side painted. Then hopefully we'll be ready for some assembly. So my shop is kind of a mess right now. I got stuff tore apart, moved around. I'm trying to make some room over here. Boy, it doesn't look like much room on this video, but anyway. 
The uh, flat granite stone used to be kind of right here on a diagonal. Got it slid over here. This is kind of my glue up area, kind of made it a little smaller. Can I start using this over here more as a glue up area also for handles and such. The disc grinder, that's basically what I use that for. 99% of the time is just the disc grinder. I don't really use the belt on it. Used to be sitting here, got it slid over. This grinder used to be here, right in front of this dust catcher. Got it slid over. Now we've got this room here. And more mess over here. Hopefully we'll get that organized here in a bit. Anyway, kind of have a surprise for what's going here. So I'm going to get that moved in here and I'll be back. We'll check it out. Okay, so we've got that set in here now. <clears throat> Still needs the motor mounted to it and the wiring done, but this just might be the sexiest broad back on the planet. <laughs> I like that color, the dark charcoal gray, got a little metallic flake in it, red accents, looks pretty good. I think it's gonna work. It does sit up a little bit higher than my other grinder. We'll have to uh, adapt that a little bit. Um, I guess I could always cut out some workbench and lower it down a little bit if it comes to that, but I think for the moment it seems like it's a pretty decent height. Doesn't seem too super high, but we will try it out and see how it goes. So we're going to get the motor mounted on there, get things wired up and bolted down, and we'll check it out. So now we got the motor all mounted on there. So bolt it on, ready to roll. Got the drive wheel over here mounted to the motor. Man, that's a good looking motor too. It's got some chrome on there, stainless steel, all polished and shined up. This thing looks pretty dang good, but I keep saying what a good looking grinder it is, but it's about to get dirty. And dusty and grimy but anyway got to uh, get the motor wired in and the controller and figure out where I'm gonna mount the controller hey there so I think we've got the grinders all situated got everything all moved around got the grinder wired in and I had to redo some electrical back here behind the belts had to put in a new outlet another uh, 240 volt 20 amp circuit for the new grinder. <clears throat> Let me flip you around here and we'll check some more stuff. <clears throat> so there she be. The motor mounted, all wired in. Uh, before, when this grinder was over here, I just kind of had my motor controller sitting right here on the bench. On its back, it wasn't really... The greatest setup, it was just sitting here, wasn't really mounted. So now we've got the new broadback sitting here. I have a small wheel attach attachment on there right now. And I've just mounted the controllers over here on the wall, slid this grinder over. Just put both controllers right there next to each other. So whether I'm at this grinding station, I can reach over and Adjust that one, or if I'm at this grinding station, I can reach over with my left hand and adjust that one. So I think that should work out pretty good. The only concern I really have with the controllers being there is when this grinder is flipped into horizontal mode. Um, it's not really looking like it too bad with the, the small wheel on it, but when the flat platen is on or the big grinding wheel, it looks like it might throw a lot of crap back this way. 
and we'll just kind of have to keep an eye on that and watch that and see how it works. And if I need to move that controller, I can build a little stand for it and, I don't know, move it over here or something. But I think for now, that is going to work out pretty sweet. Um, so now my other little small problem is, is I have the tool arm that's on this grinder now. I have this tool arm. I have another tool arm down there on this shelf that's full of parts and pieces and attachments for this grinder. And the broad bed came with these other tool arms, workstation, plus all these attachments. And yes, there's still a mess right here, but <laughs> so I think I'm gonna do is build a tool arm, kind of a tree thing back here so I can have it here. I can slide all these tool arms in, hold all the flat platen. The, this is a 12 inch wheel. So there's a 12 inch wheel. I got a 10 inch wheel under there and an eight inch wheel. Um, hopefully I can build something here to slide all the tool arms in and they can just kind of hang out over there. For the old grinder, I just kind of slid everything down there on that shelf and it's kind of a pain in the butt to get to them and it's not organized very well. So, sweet. Um, let me, uh, bear with me for just a second. Let me tighten up this tool arm and we will flip this bad boy on. Just small wheel attachment that's pretty sweet it's got that belt pulled back so you can get into tighter spaces and that's gonna work out pretty nice so yeah super happy so far super excited to start grinding on some blades and like i've said before dang that's a good looking grinder good looking paint job other than i kind of jacked it up right there a little bit on that piece but oh well I like the red and the gray, it looks good. Chrome motor. <laughs> so yeah, there's the new grinding bench, new grinding stations. Shop vac to suck up some dust and now I should get the rest of my shop cleaned, so. There you go. Thanks for checking out the video, appreciate it.